Yeah. Soldered up these little LEDs, so it looks cool. It's fantastic. I love it. Thanks, man. Yep. That's awesome. Exciting. I've been coming to the Air Force Museum since I was a little boy with my father and my friends and their fathers. So being able to come here and race my drones, my hobby here in this place is incredibly exciting for me. Uh, every year it gets a little bit better, the track designs change more fun, they work on improving the, the video equipment, just the, the people running the event tweak it every year, make it just a little bit better every year. Just kind of a cool thing uh, for our pilots to take home that do really well at the race. So uh, we always like to, you know, have something you can display because this is a real achievement to be here. It takes a lot of pre uh, preparation and planning um, and these pilots are really working for it. So I'm uh, really excited about these. It's the best because I used to come here years ago and think like this would be so cool to, to fly around these planes and we had meetings about hey where, where can we fly at so we used to fly at different venues we started off in basements then moved to actual venues and then I men mentioned to Kelly I'm like hey the Air Force Museum would be amazing but I know that the idea, you know, crashing into these planes, but our, our, our drones are little plastic toys almost. So it's not that big of a deal. And uh, he came up here and, and he got it done. And he talked to all the right people and it's, it's the greatest place. It's the greatest race in, in, in whoop racing. This is year five. It's a really special year to me. Now it's locked in forever. You know what I mean? It's a tradition that I'll never miss. And um, yeah, I just think it's an unbelievably special venue. We're so grateful that we get to do this kind of thing. And um, I feel so lucky to be able to sit, sit on the stage and watch. You know, the best part of my job is I have the best seats in the house at understanding the story of this event. You know, these people do come a long ways. They bring a lot of gear. There's tons of preparation and training. And when they get here, I get to sit over there and watch the entire story unfold all the way to the championship. And it is a privilege. got into the final chase the ace we knew we were locked in so kind of the pressure was a little bit off because we're, we get to take home one of the awesome trophies there was trophies all the way down to fourth so that kind of eased up a little bit and we knew we wanted to take one and two but we didn't want to put too much pressure on ourselves so battling him he's a great competitor and I, I couldn't ask for a better teammate with him maybe five giant tiny whip races uh, around the United States every year. Right now we're in the middle of tiny whip season for the big races and this is probably the second of the big four, um, but it's everyone's favorite. And whenever I tell someone I'm going to the micro drone race at the National Museum of the United States Air Force, they always say that one's my favorite. And it's just the venue. Obviously the team running the event is uh, amazing and they have an epic system that, you know, unmatched system. But the venue just locks it in as, uh, you know, an epic race of all time. So getting to fly 
through these aircraft, getting to fly around in a place like this is an unbelievable privilege and that's why people travel from all over. And uh, definitely subscribe to the Cincinnati Quad Racer channel and do comment. Remember last year? Last year, my buddy Wes's grandpa was competing, and he, he had no problem. Like, he's not the best pilot. He could manage the course, you know? His goal was to complete one lap before the timer ran out, and I think he got it. People can come and fly here at any age. Now, more and more, the young kids are kind of winning the races, but uh, people don't come here to win the races. People come here to experience this course. I mean, they, they're kind of topping out a little bit. I want to keep improving them. I'm always trying to improve them. If I can find a continuous move into a gate, then that's a little bit better. But I mean, it's, it's just feel at this point. I'm just worried about not crashing. Like if you, like a lot of us were crashing out here and like during finals or either like during finals or during the normal races and that'll, that'll mess you up and mess up your run. But have a look at T-Dog hooking around the nose. There it is. It's official. Your two-time champion of the Michael Memory International Museum of the United States Air Force 324. T-Dog, this is it. You select to be back second year in a row, and then you win uh, the pro class. Well, it was fun, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I just came here to have fun. Like, I got out of racing for a little bit because I was getting too competitive, and I wanted to win more than I was wanting to have fun. So I just came here to have fun. Like the, the trophies are just something on the side, honestly.